I don't know what to say about the gold program. The peer counselors they gave me is probably the reason I've been passing math for the last few years, but it's also the reason why I'm not at the same school as my friends. That's it. What I would suggest we do is have a dialogue between Donald and I discussing the fact that I see my role as his alternative conscience because he has so much trouble with lying. It's such a habit with him. It's built up over the years of not being able to do written work. Oh my gosh, Donald, you did the African Queen project. Mm hmm You finished it at home last night. Yeah. All seven questions. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm impressed. So I can hand it in. Yes. You can hand it in, one of us. Yes. Somebody can give it to Mr. Holland. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit of the history of this African Queen assignment? Okay. Well, originally it was due quite a while ago, but um, then Mr. Holland said that it if I handed it in to him soon, that he would give me a passing mark for the second term, which is, which I kind of need that passing mark to pass English this year. And um, originally, I had said earlier that I had finished it, when actually I hadn't. And, um, but now it's finished, it's done, and I can hand it in to Mr. Holland. Okay, saying that you finished it when you had the fact that you seem to always lie about, or not always, but many, many times lie about assignments. Yeah. And so it's, it's really been hard for me to figure out whether they're done or not, or whether you've attended classes, or whether you've done tests. Mm -hmm. So we've been, we've got a nice little chart here that we've been here mm -hmm. to talk about the, your approach to life that day and how it's working for you, and whether there's been any need for you to lie. And we've mm -hmm. tried to talk about why you lie. Yeah. And you know what? I was just reading this line here. It says, compulsive lying it's often something that children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder use as a strategy because it always se it seems to be from that so many kids with attention deficit disorder have trouble getting work done and it's frustrating so i was thinking that do you think it's been helpful for you to be, for me to kind of be your alternate conscience uh yeah it's helped a little bit well i would say a little more than a little bit it's helped a lot um, I think if he didn't remind me of a lot of things or say I had to do some things, they probably would never get done. Okay. But anyhow, this, the, the, the situation with our talking to each other seems to be getting much better. Yeah. So we're working on it and, and it seems to be working. I mean, <coughs> do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I think it's, I think it's working for me. I think this is probably a, a good example of that it's working. <laughs> what? Yeah, we didn't have what you teach, I don't think, in this. I teach senior history for the most part, uh, grades 11 and 12, and uh, it's tough, and it's a tough course, and I get kids now taking that course that would never have touched it before. And I can honestly say that having seen over the last hundred years of, the, of teaching that with somebody, something like the Goal Program, I certainly have changed in, in that regard. And I have seen kids, and I, and I can't remember them all, but I, even this year with somebody like Drew Thompson or, or Saitanovich in the past, or, or with Mike, that those kids would have been left behind before and been really categorized in such a, a, a negative fashion. And it's kind of exciting to see these kids get involved in education and, and be able to thrive in it. Yeah, it's again, yeah, I think that's that's true, but I've seen such positive results. I have to admit that uh, that's probably the thing that's changed me. The, I think it's the, the fact that you don't have the angry young men and women in my classroom uh, who are so frustrated because they're not getting their results. I've still got frustrated average students, and I'm worried about that. But yeah, that's probably what's changed me more than anything. Uh, and and, and it, it's just that they all 
also, I guess, what's changed is that the positive influence they have on my class, because they do. They contribute vocally all the time. They're, they're stars in my classroom when it comes to discussion. So I guess those are the two factors that change. Corinne and I fight like cats and dogs and, and have, I've been told to, off <laughs> many times with, with Corinne. And uh, because I, I'm saying, hey, I think this kid has to stand up for himself. Mike was one of them. And uh, you can't mother them too much. And I think, but I also know what Corrine's done.